Hey guys, welcome to another Zero Linux video. This is going to be a quick one. I'm just going to explain what Zero Linux is, why we made the decisions we made, and how it works. First, when you come to the website, what's the first thing you see? Zero Linux, a hobbyist Arch distro built using Arco Linux's ALCI scripts that is meant to provide you with a stable base, making it simpler to install Arch Linux, meaning with Calamares, with a well-optimized and customized KDE Plasma that you can shape your way the easy way. What does that mean? Zero Linux is just a base. It doesn't include any packages out of, uh, out of the box like other distros do. If you compare it, for example, to uh, Garuda, Garuda contain hundreds of packages out of the box. A lot of configurations, a lot of tools. Some consider bloat, others don't. I consider them bloat. So Zero Linux is just a base. The only packages that are included on the ISO are the ones that come with Plasma. There are some tools included by me, only one or two. For example, the post install script that you can use to get started configuring your system. I have a video on that, which I will link in the description below. And the various configuration files that are required to get you the look that you see in this laptop. That's, those are the only packages I include out of the box. Nothing more, nothing less. It's a base that you can shape your way the easy way and a lot of a lot of you keep missing the top part of the of the website major project announcements read more click that read here i explained more stability versus features we are now aiming more towards stability and consistency over features so new features will be few and far between while we concentrate on making your experience with zero linux a pleasant one what does that mean we are not the type of distro that concentrates on major features. If there are any that are useful and worth including, we will include. They're going to be few and far between. Our main goal is to give, to give you a stable and consistent experience out of the box. That's it. And dual GPU slash hybrid GPU support, this is very important. I cannot stress this enough. Moving forward, I will not be able to provide you with the required information on how to make such setups work, simply to, due to the fact that I lack the hardware to test on, by extension, the knowledge. You can still use this distro, however, but you will have to do the research yourself. Just look at it as an opportunity to learn more about how Linux works. Yes, I lack the hardware. If I cannot test the drivers that I want to ship or the configurations that I want to ship with zero Linux out of the box, I cannot do that. I need to test them, make sure they work before I ship them. And if I don't have the hardware to test on, how can I do it? Think about it. I have five desktops. They all use the same configuration, single GPU, no hybrid. Once I get a laptop with hybrid uh, setup, then I will be able to help you more. But until then, it's on you to do the research and know which, uh, what packages you need to get your system up and running. I can try my best to help to provide you, to guide you uh, to the right uh, place, but other than that, I can't do anything else. Last but not least, no more monthly ISOs. As of now, release schedule will be switched to quarterly every three months. No more monthly ISOs. In case of delays, for whatever reason, we will let you know. I had to make the hard decision to stop releasing monthly ISOs. Why? Because I prefer to ship you guys a much more stable ISO than a rushed monthly unstable ISO. W what, do you, what do you prefer? A monthly unstable ISO with issues or a, a super stable ISO every three months. I chose the latter. Gives me time to concentrate on, uh, on stability and consistency while delivering a much more stable and consistent experience to you guys. And there's another part of the website that everybody keeps ignoring, the FAQ section. You click on the FAQ, it's gonna scroll down and show you the 10 curated most frequently asked questions and use our forums. We have a forum where we have zero uh, guides dedicated to zero Linux. Those are curated zero Linux guides. You got also Linux University, which contains a lot of generalized uh, guides. Use the tools that we provide. And by using Linux, you will have to do a lot of reading. If you don't read, you won't get anywhere with Linux. So yeah. Also, don't forget that once you click download, you're going to be presented with the end user agreement. Please read carefully to understand more about what this project is and what it entails setting expectations. Main points. Zero Linux is a hobby distribution. 
Its goal is to offer you an easy way to install Arch Linux with a well-optimized custom KDE Plasma, as mentioned before. This distro tries to take the Hicks law approach when it comes to choices. Less is more. What does that mean? That means that instead of offering you an overwhelming amount of choices, we chose to give you less, not to overwhelm you. Zero Linux is based on Arch Linux. That's why basic Linux knowledge is highly recommended if you are to use this distro. There is no need to jump directly into deeper waters before learning how to swim. Take it slow, test it in a VM, jump in only when you feel confident enough. Yes, by being based on Arch Linux, which has a lot of moving parts and being a rolling distro, issues should be expected. Do not expect it to run smoothly all the time. There will be moments where you will start encountering unexpected issues and weird issues. So please keep that in mind. If you go into Zero Linux without prior experience with, with Linux as a whole, you won't be able to figure your way out. So please, as I mentioned, do not jump into deeper waters before you learn how to swim. Learn how to swim first, try other distros, learn more about Linux and how Linux functions, then go ahead and install Zero Linux. Finally, Zero Linux doesn't nor will ever force anything on you. Think of it as a blank canvas that you can shape to suit your needs. Almost every feature it offers is optional. You are the one who decides which ones you prefer. All the choices we have are via the tool. For example, Wayland. We don't ship it by default because a lot of users are like myself who prefer not to use to have Wayland as an option because it's not ready yet. That's why we offer it as an optional feature for you to enable it only when you are ready and you are sure that it's going to work flawlessly on your system. All right? And troubleshooting, when it comes to solving issues related to your specific hardware configuration, we prefer to leave it up to you, the user. Since you are the only one who can test the solutions, also this will allow you to learn more about Linux and grow. So please learn how to research and read, read, and read some more. Important note as a bonus, this distro is 90% Arch Linux and 10% custom. Also, we cannot be held responsible in case of data loss or corruption. Do your research, test in a VM before taking the plunge on real metal. Do not download unless you have read and agree with the above. If you click agree and download without reading anything of the above and start encountering issues, we cannot be held uh, liable for that. The responsibility is on you, the user. I put everything front and center being fully transparent, so I cannot do more than that. I have taken all the precautions if you don't read. Anyway, I agree. You will be presented with three mirrors, SourceForge, which is the main one. Foss Torrents is for all you guys who prefer to download from Torrents. And a direct link mirror supplied by the guys over at Funami Tech. We gave you the choice. All right. One last thing. I left it to the end of the video. We have three methods to donate to the project. We have fundraiser, PayPal, and Patreon. Now, PayPal, we prefer you don't use, but it's an option for those who can't use either uh, fundraiser or Patreon. Let me explain what the fundraiser is and what is the reason for, for it. Help the project, uh, help project to continue. My country, Lebanon, is currently going through a bad economic crisis. We just got word that electricity provisioning will drop to three hours a day from six hours, while generator owners are forcing us to accept their 45% price increase due to the diesel prices skyrocketing. As a result, we will not be able to afford having it on for long periods. Without the essentials, I cannot continue working on the project, or at least much less. I would love to, uh, to work on the project full time, but the cost to do so are skyrocketing, making it harder and harder to maintain. With your help and support, we can make it a reality. Yes, what I just read is real. We get three hours of government electricity plus six hours, so nine hours of total electricity a day, split during morning, afternoon, and night. I cannot keep working like this on the project. We really, really could use your help. In 57 days, we just raised 
185 euros which is less than one month's goal with your help and support we can reach that goal to keep the lights on and the power to uh, continue working on the project and for those of you who pref uh, who would really love to support us on a monthly basis we have a patreon page we currently have only six patrons we could have had more but a lot of you keep coming in and jumping off if you don't like to, uh, to to support us on a monthly basis, that's why we have the fundraiser. This fundraiser doesn't have an expiry date. So you can just jump in, donate as much as you want on here once. But if you want to, uh, if you can support us on a monthly basis, use Patreon. Okay, enough with that. Now, help us reach a thousand subscribers. And by watching the entirety of our videos, you'll help us reach the 4,000 watch hours that we need to be able to monetize the channel. Thank you. I hope this video was, uh, was, uh, had enough information for you to understand why we do what we do and what Zero Linux exa is exactly. With that being said, this is Dark Zero signing off.